That's tough to me. Okay, we move on. Tony Dunst now with a four deuce of hearts. 60. And he is going to raise 60,000. Don't forget, Tony Dunst does a raw deal all the time. Sees a lot of these guys' hands. We get a lot of education of these players by working here on the World Poker Tour. Giacomo. Well, Giacomo just calling with the A side, not raising. All right, here comes the flop. Jack six, four, two hearts. Oh, Both players flop the flush draw. Tony has the best hand with two fours, though. But we could see a big explosion here on this flop. Yeah, Giacomo's checked, and Tony is going to bet 65,000. He's got a pair and a flush draw. Now, Giacomo opts not to raise it. I am surprised by that. I would have raised with enough flush draw. Okay, here comes the turn, and it's a nine of hearts. Just incredible. Both players have made a flush. This could spell big trouble for Tony in terms of possibly doubling up his opponent here. Going to be hard not to do it with two flushes out there. Giacomo with the nuts right now. Little does he know it, his man also has a flush. What a great place to be. Now Giacomo has bet. That's 95,000. Well, he leads right out with the nut flush. 275. Oh, he's going to get Tony to re-raise. Well, you have to re-raise here in case mm -hmm. your opponent just has one big heart in his hand. You want him to draw it for nothing. 275. Well, what do you do if you're Giacomo now? To raise or not to raise, you have the best hand possible. You don't want to run him out, but you would like to make a giant double up here. But then again, if he's cold, you don't run him out. If you re-raise everything in, potentially could. So he's just going to make the call. Well, he does just I like call it. here. I like it. I like his move. Don't scare away your victim. He's hoping a blank hits on the river, but no, a jack. Wow, the board pairs jacks. Neither player wanted to see that. Well, action on Giacomo. Yeah, he doesn't care. Well, he is going all in here. Yep. And this is going to put Tony in the dilemma. Look at him. Pull his glasses down. Then you got to be kidding me. You made a full house with that card? Did you really have two pair or a About set? About five, six hundred thousand. Actually, it might save you money, Tony. Little did you know it. Well, it's actually 840,000. Yeah. 840. Should be a big payoff for the Italian. And just that a sure tremendous would. comeback. If Tony should call this. Well, you would just think if the guy had a set or even two pair, he would have re-raised you yeah. on the turn. But still, bigger flushes out there, possible full houses out there. Tony's made about every perfect decision so far at this final table. Could he possibly get away from this? No. You make a flush plan, heads up, poke over a guy's got your beat, he just got your beat, and that's what happened there. Whether the jack came off or not, all the money was going in. Get a free entry into a $5,000 guaranteed tournament and play online poker for real cash and prizes at clubwpt.com. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT23. Gruesome now. Looks down at Ace Queen. Huge hand. Heads up. Lines are at 12 and 24,000. Philip makes it 50,000 to go. Scott defends with 7 3 suited. And look at this Ace A7 on the board. Seaver quickly checks. Yes, Seaver's hand is not that strong, but on this board, it's actually pretty decent. Two aces makes it less likely that Philip has an ace, and Philip's going to continuation bet on a board like this with almost all of his hands that he raised preflop with. Scott check calls 50,000, and on the turn, this is trouble. Yeah, Scott makes a full house, but it's the under full house. Any ace in Philip's hand would have Scott drawing dead, or at least dead to quads. Scott checks it, and this time, Philip bets. Philip, in fact, does have the ace, as we can see and elects to bet a relatively small amount, just 75,000 on the turn, when he bet 50,000 on the flop. I think trying to get some of Scott's weaker flop calls to continue, hands like king high. River card is a nine, changing nothing. Seaver again checks. Seaver staying in rhythm, continuing to check every street, knowing that the best he can do is get value from a bluff from Philip. Now, Grusom's job here is to come up with a number he thinks he can get paid off with. 350,000 in the middle, what is that number? Well, at this point, I don't think Philip expects Scott to necessarily call on the river with a king, so he's hoping Scott does have a seven and can bet a pretty healthy amount if he does. Yes. 
155,000 was the bet, and he did get paid off. As Seaver can't get away from sevens full. Jeb is going to make it 550 with Queen Deuce of Diamonds. Jay makes the call with the Jack Four of Hearts. And it is Jack Four oh. Four. Is this real life? And two diamonds for Jeb. <laughs> no! Jay has just had all the hands when he's needed them tonight. Both players check. Seven on the turn. Another check from Jay. Look at him slow play this full house. All right, Jeb. Wow, another check. Oh, oh wow, no. the diamond, which gives oh, Jeb a flush. No. This is going to be a disaster for Jeb. I don't see how he doesn't lose most, if not all, of his chips at this stage. Well, Jay is going to pet 750 now. Question is, do you repop it? Yeah, I think Jeb is going to want to play for more. Two million. He wants to play for two million. Great can kill. It's close to half his stack. And that is music to this man's ears. He could taste the title. Oh. Oh, Jeb just looks like he got punched in the gut. Uh, I call. He calls oh, it. Oh, boy. it's over. Yep. Have to call at that point. He was trapped beautifully, and it's over. Vince, a lightning fast heads up match ends with Jay Lee taking it down. For today, the favorites went out. Your underdog and have to come through on another day. We'll reverse psychology for you. Yeah, right. They are staying loose. And Ryan Tosic picking up tens on the very first hand of heads up. Makes it 400,000 to go. Alex with a pretty decent king queen will make this call. And we see a ace, three, six, two hard flop. Alex will check, and Ryan's going to bet the tens. Bets 400. Alex sticking around with his call. Let's see if Alex gets lucky here with a king or a queen. Yes, he hits a king of hearts. So he's out in front with the case now. He's going to check it. Ryan will slow down check as well, going to the river. And it's another heart, seven of hearts. This gives Alex the absolute nut. And he's gonna check Ooh, the nuts. Nice check. Whoa, what is this? There's 1.6 million in the pot and he just bet 2.4 million. This uh, seems like a strange hand to bet one and a half times the size of the pot with. Now we know he has the ten of hearts, pretty good flush, of course, but up against the nuts. And if you want to study acting, just look at Alex right now. Yeah, he can't believe his luck. Time is clicking away. He's got the nuts. It's just when to snag him for as much as you can. Five point five. Boom. 5.5. There's the raise with the nuts. And Ryan suddenly regrets betting that much. Can you lay this down at this point, though? You got third best flush. Well, your opponent either has the queen of hearts or a bluff. You're not really worried about the jack of hearts. This is the first one I used all tournament. Now he's going to take time, try to figure this out. Well, if you're in Ryan's seat, you have to think you have what is essentially the second nuts here, because even though you technically have the third nuts, you know that Foxen's not going to check raise you with the Jack of Hearts. Hmm. Yeah, he needs a couple more time bank extension chips in there. I've never seen somebody have such a good time in such an awkward spot. One second. There's four, five, six. There's four, five, six. There's four, five, six. Eight, nine. Jack. Deuce of hearts is pretty bad. 
four hearts, three bet, five hearts, three bet. There's six slots. You carry the one and... <laughs> oh no, he is gonna make this call. He's gonna hate himself in the morning. Oh man, a major setback for Ryan Tossi right away in this heads up.